the standard of risk management in portfolios, programs, and project. Table of content. Introduction. 1.1. Purpose of this standard. 1.2. Approach of this standard. 1.3. Principles of risk management. 1.3.1. Strive to achieve excellence in the practice of risk management. 1.3.2. Align risk management with organizational strategy and government governance practice. 1.3.3. Focus on the most impactful risk. 1.3.4. Balance realizations and value against overall risk. 1.3.5. Poster a culture that embrace risk management. 1.3.6. Navigate complexity using risk management to enable successful outcomes. 1.3.7. Continuously improve risk management competencies. 1.4 structures of this standard. 2. Context of the key concept of risk management. 2.1 key concept of definition. 2.1.1 risk. 2.1.2 opportunities. 2.1.3 threat. 2.1.4 risk attitude. 2.1.5 risk appetite. 2.1.6 risk threshold. 2.2 Risk Management in Organization 2.3 Domain of Risk Management 2.3.1 Enterprise 2.3.2 Portfolio 2.3.3 Program 2.3.4 Project 2.4 Key Success Factor Number 3 Frameworks for Risk Management in Portfolio Program and Project Management 3.1 Business Context of Risk Management in Portfolio Programs and Project Management 3.1.1 Organizational Frameworks, 3.1.2 Organizational Context, 3.1.3 Strategic and Organizational Planning, 3.1.4 Linking Planning with Executive through Portfolio Program and Project Management, 3.2 Scope of Accountability, Responsibility and Authority, 3.2.1 Accountability at the Enterprise Level, 3.2.2 Accountability at the Portfolio Level, 3.2.2 Accountability at the Portfolio Level 3.2.3 Accountability at the Program Level 3.2.4 Accountability at the Project Level 3.3 General Approach to Risk Management 3.3.1 Factors for Evaluating Risk Risk Management Life Cycles in Portfolio Program and Project Management 4.1 Introductions to the Risk Management Life Cycles 4.2 Plan Risk Management 4.2.1 Purpose of the Plan Risk Management 4.2.1.1 Risk Appetite in Plan Risk Management 4.2.1.2 Tailoring and Scaling the Risk Management Plan 4.2 Success Factor for Plan Risk Management 4.3 Identify Risk 4.3.1 Purpose of Identify Risk 4.3.2 Key Success Factors for identify risk, 4.4 perform qualitative risk analysis, 4.4.1 purpose of perform quantitative qualitative risk analysis, 4.2 4.4.2 key success factor for perform qualitative risk analysis, 4.5 perform quantitative risk analysis, 4.5.1 purpose of quali quantitative risk analysis. 4.5.2 Key Success Factor for Perform Quantitative Risk Analysis 4.6 Plan Risk Response 4.6.1 Purpose of Plan Risk Response 4.6.2 Key Success Factor for Plan Risk Responses 4.7 Implement Risk Response 4.7.1 Purpose of Implement Risk Response 4.7.2 Key Success Factor for Implement Risk Response 4.8 Monitor Risk 4.8.1 Purpose of Monitor Risk 4.8.2 Key Success Factor for Monitor Risk Chapter 5 Risk Management in the Context of Portfolio Management 5.1 Portfolio Risk Management Life Cycle 5.1.1 Portfolio Risk Management 5.1.2 Portfolio Risk Qualitative and Quantitative Analysis 5.1.3 Portfolio Risk Response Strategy 5.1.4 Implementing Portfolio Risk Response 5.1.5 Monitoring Portfolio Risk 5.2 Integration of Risk Management into the Portfolio Management By Performance Domain 5.2.1 Portfolio Strategic Management
5.2.2, portfolio governance, 5.2.3, portfolio capacity and capacity, capability management, 5.2.4, portfolio stakeholder engagement, 5.2.5, portfolio value management, 5.2.6, portfolio risk management, risk management in the context of the program management, chapter 6, 6.1. Program Risk Management Life Cycle 6.1.1 Program Risk Identification 6.1.2 Program Risk Qualitative and Quantitative Analysis 6.1.3 Program Risk Response Strategies 6.1.4 Implementing Risk Implementing Program Risk Response 6.1.5 Monitoring Program Risk 6.2 Integrations of Risk Management into the Program Management Performance Domain 6.2.1 Program Strategy Alignment 6.2.2 Program Benefits Management 6.2.3 Program Stakeholder Engagement 6.2.4 Program Governance 6.2.5 Program Life Cycle Management 6.2.6 Supporting Program Activities Chapter 7 Risk Management in the Context of the Project Management 7.1 Project Risk Management Life Cycle 7.1.1 Project Risk Identification 7.1.2 Qualitative and Quantitative Risk Analysis 7.1.3 Project Risk Response Strategies 7.1.4 Implementing Project Risk Response 7.1.5 Monitoring Risk Response Monitoring Project Risk 7.2 Integration of Risk Management into the Project Management Process Group 7.2.1 Initiating Processes 7.2.2 Planning Processes 7.2.3 Executing Processes 7.2.4 Monitoring and Controlling Processes 7.2.5 Closing Processes Appendix 11 Development of the Standard of Risk Management in the Portfolios, Program, and Projects Appendix, Appendix 12 X2 Contributions and Reviewer of the Standard for Risk Management in Portfolios, Programs, and Projects X2.1, the Standard of Risk Management in Portfolios, Program and Project Core Committee. X.2.2, Signification Contribution. X.2.3, X Reviewer. X2.3.1, SMA Review. X.2.3.2, Consensus Body Review. X2.3.3, X Public Exposure Draft Review. X2.4, PMI Standard Program Member Advisory Group. X2.5 Harmonization Team X2.5.1 Core Team X2.5.2 PMI Staff X2.6 Production Staff Appendix X3 Portfolio Risk Management Control X3.1 The Purpose of the Portfolio Risk Management Control X3.2 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Strategic Management X3.3 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Governance X3.4 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management. X3.5 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Stakeholder Engagement. X3.6 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Value Management. X3.7 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Risk Management. Appendix X4 Program Risk Management Control. X.41, the purpose of the program risk management control. X.4.2, risk management control for program strategy alignment. X.4.3, risk management control for program benefits management. X.4.4, risk management control for program stakeholder engagement. X.4.5, risk management control for program governance. X.4.6, risk management control for program life cycle management. X4.7 Risk Management Control for Supporting Program Activities. Appendix X5 Project Risk Management Control. X5.1 The Purpose of the Project Risk Management Control. X5.2 Risk Management Control for Project Integration Management. Risk 5.3 Risk Management Control for Project Scope Management. Risk 5. X5.4 Risk Management Control for Project Scheduled Management. Risk 5.5 Risk Management Control for Project Cost Management. X5.6 Risk Management Control for Project Quality Management. X5.7 Risk Management Control for Project Resource Management. X5.8 Risk Management Control for Project Communication Management. 
X5.9 risk management control per project risk management. X5.10 risk management control per project procurement management. X5.11 risk management control per project stakeholder management. X appendix XX technique for the risk management frameworks. X6.1 risk management planning. X6.2 identify risk. X6.2.1 assumptions and constraint analysis. X6.2.2 brainstorming. X6.2.3 cause and effect Ishikawa diagram. X6.2.4 checklist. X6.2.5 Delphi technique. X6.2.6 document review. X6.2.7 expert judgment. X6.2.8 facilitation. X6.2.9 historical information. X6.2.10 interview. X6.2.11 prompt list. X6.2.12 questionnaire. X6.2.13 root cause analysis. X6.2.14 SWOT analysis. X6.3 qualitative risk analysis. X6.3.1 affinity diagram. X6.3.2 analytic hierarchy process. X6.3.3 in influence diagram. X6.3.4 nominal group technique. X6.3.5 probability and impact matrix. X6.3.6 risk data quality analysis. X6.3.7 X6 assessment of other risk parameter. X6.3.8 system dynamics. X6.4 quantitative quantitative risk analysis. X6.4.1 contingency reserve estimation. X6.2.4.2 decision tree analysis. X6.4.3 estimating technique applied to probability and impact. X6.4.4 expected monetary value. X6.4.5 FMEA fault tree analysis. FEMEA fault tree analysis. X6.4.6 uh, Monte Carlo simulation. X6.4.7 PERC program or project evaluations and review technique. X6.5 Plan Risk Response X6.5.1 Contingency Planning X6.5.2 Force Field Analysis X6.5.3 Multi-Criteria Selection Technique X6.5.4 Scenario Analysis X6.5.5 Simulation X6.6 Response Plan Implementation X6.7 Monitor Risk X6.7.1 Data Analysis X6.7.2 Reserve Analysis X6.7.3 Residual Impact Analysis X6.7.4 Risk Audit X6.7.5 Risk Breakdown Structure X6.7.6 Risk Assessment X6.7.7 Sensitivity Analysis X6.7.8 Status Meeting X6.7.9 Trend Analysis X6.7.10 Variance Analysis X6.8 Risk Management Technique Recap Appendix X7 Enterprise Risk Management Consideration for Portfolio Program on Project Risk Management Appendix X8 Risk Classification References Glossary Index List of Table of Content Figure 2-1 Risk Appetite and Its Relationship with Organization Strategy Figure 2-2 Cascading of Risk Management Strategy into Portfolio Program and Project Figure 2.3, 2-3, Key Success Factor for Risk Management. Figure 3-1, Risk Across the Various Levels of the Organization. Figure 3.3-2, Risk Management Across Domain of Organizational Activity. Figure 3-3, Risk Classification. Figure 4-1, The Risk Management Lifecycle Frameworks. Figure 5.1, Portfolio Management. Performance Domain Figure 6.1 Program Management Performance Domain Figure X6-1 Key Area of Focus for Plan Risk Management Figure X6-2 The Relationship Between Case Risk and Effect Figure X6-3 Example of a Constraint Analysis with Field for Descriptions Analysis Result Figure X6-4 Examples of the Cause and Effect or Ishikawa Diagram Figure X6-5 
example or partial of the checklist with typical structures of category, subcategory, specific risk and effect. Figure 6, X6 does 6, 3 well known example of prompt list that can be useful for risk identification. Figure 6 does 7, example of root cause analysis. Figure X6 does 8, example of SWOT analysis structure. Figure 6, X6 does 9, example of definitions of level of probability and impact on three specific objectives used in evaluate individual risk. Figure X6 does 10, example of analytic hierarchy process computations to determine the relative weighting of four objectives related to the project. Figure X6 does 11, example of probability impact matrix used to sort risk into high, very high, high, moderate, low, and very low, and classes. Figure X6 does 12, example of decision tree diagram. Figure X6 does 13, example histogram from Monte Carlo simulations of the project schedule. Figure X6 does 4, example of the force field analysis and the balance of the force for the for for and against chains. Figure X6 does 15 examples of multi criteria weighting and analysis. Figure X6 does 16 example of generic risk breakdown structures for the project. Example of X7 does 1 element contributions of degree of alignment between ERM and portfolio program and Project Risk Management Table 5 does one area of the portfolio management program domain. Typically cover the risk management practice. Table 6 does one area of the program management performance domain. Typically covered by risk management practices. Table 7 does one areas of the project management process group and knowledge area typically covered by the risk management practices. Table X3-1 Risk Management Control and Objectives for Portfolio Strategic Management. Table X3-2 Risk Management Control and Objectives for Portfolio Governance. Table X3-3 Risk Management Control and Objective for Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management. Table X3-4 Risk Management Control and Objective for Portfolio Stakeholder Engagement. Table X3-5 Risk Management Control and Objective for Portfolio Value Management. Table X3-6 Risk Management Control for ob and Objective for Portfolio Risk Management. Table X4-1 Risk Management Control for Program Strategy Alignment. Table X for does to risk management control for program benefits management. Table X for does to risk management control for program stakeholder engagement. Table X for does for risk management control for program governance. Table X for does five risk management control for program life cycle management. Table X for does six risk management control for supporting program activities. Table X five does one risk management control for project. Integration Management Table X5-2 Risk Management Controls for Project Scope Management Table X5-3 Risk Management Control for Project Scheduled Management Table X5-4 Risk Management Control for Project Cost Management Table X5-5 Risk Management Control for Project Quality Management Table X5-6, Risk Management Control for Project Resource Management. Table X5-7, Risk Management Control for Project Communication Management. Table X5-8, Risk Management Control for Project Risk Management. Table X5-9, Risk Management Control for Project Procurement Management. Table X5-10, Risk Management Control for Project Stakeholder Management. Table X5-6-1, Matrix. For risk management technique, map the risk management life cycle stage. The risk introduction. The risk is an uncertain event or condition that if this occurs, it has a positive 
or negative effect on one or more objectives. Positive risk are opportunities while negative risk are threat. The practice of risk management includes planning, the approach to identifying and analyzing risk response planning. and implementations and ongoing monitoring risk. Risk management is an essential aspect of all organization activities. This standard describes the applications of risk management within the Enterprise Risk Management ERM context that includes the portfolio, program, and project domain. Risk management shape the decision-making processes across the organization and within each of the domain. The degree to which risk management is pursued can be difference between the success and failure. PMI reports polls of the profession report found in the organization that apply a formal risk management approach 73% of the project meet their objectives and 61% finish on time and 64% are completed within the approved budget. Risk management allows an organization to anticipate and manage change, improve decision-making, proactively implement typically lower-cost preventive action instead of higher-cost reaction to issues, increase the chances to realize opportunities for the benefits of the business, generate board, broad awareness of uncertainty of outcomes, act upon the transformation taking place, in its business environment and support organizational agility and real resilience. Risk management also establishes iterative connection among portfolios, programs, and projects and link these connections with ERM and organizational strategy. 1.1 Purpose of this standard This standard describes the concepts and definition associated with the risk management and highlight the essential components of the risk management for integrations into the various governance layers of portfolio programs and project with the following major objectives. Describe the fundamentals of risk management, support the objectives and of and demonstrate the link to ARM and apply risk management principles as appropriate to portfolio program and project domain as described in the PMI Foundation Standard. This standard fulfills the business needs to provide a standard for risk management in portfolio, program, and project management that defines in essential considerations of risk management practitioner. It expands on the knowledge contains on the risk management in the relevant sections of the PMI Foundation Standard. These standards can be used to harmonize practice between ARM and portfolio, program, and project management regardless of the life of the life cycle approach use. PMI is committed to providing global standards that are widely recognized and consistently applied by organization as well as practitioner. Increasingly, organizations are requiring practitioner to use risk management practices in portfolio, program, and project management as an integral part of their ARM framework. 1.2 Approach of the Standard This standard presents the what and why the risk management. The following concepts are elaborated in this standard. Purpose and Benefits of Risk Management Principles and concepts of risk management and portfolios, program and project. Risk management life cycle in portfolios, program and projects. And integrations of risk management within the portfolio program and project. This standards provides guidance on integrating risk management practice into all key areas of enterprise portfolio, program and project management. The aim to is to ensure that the management of risk is inherent naturally part of all management domain. The scope of this standard is to provide guidance and not to impose uniformity of processes across portfolio programs and projects. When planning and implementing risk management, 
it is essential that each team consider the characteristic of the organization, portfolio program, or project. The approach presented in this standard is based on risk management principles that can be used as guidance when designing a specific management or businesses processes adapted to the organizational environment and nature of work. 1.3 Principles of Risk Management There are specific core principles that underlie the process of risk management. The seven principles provide in the section 1.3.1 through 1.3.7 guide the risk management process and are integral to effective risk management. 1.3.1 is strive to achieve excellence in the practice of risk management. Risk management allows organizations and team to increase the predictability of the outcomes both qualitative and quantitatively. These principles is about reaching the appropriate level of organization processes maturity, the availability of the organization to apply a certain set of processes in a consistent manner and their optimal level of performance, excellence, and risk management is not achieved by the strict and ex exhaustive applications of related processes. Rather, excellence can be achieved by balancing the benefits to be obtained with the associated cost and tailoring the risk management process to the characteristic of the organization and its portfolio program and project processes excellence in risk management, it itself a risk management strategy. 1.3.2 Align risk management with the organizational safety strategy and government governance practices. The practice of risk management in organizations is developed and involved in coexistence with other organizational processes such as strategy and governance. The nature of portfolios, program, and project is such that circumstances may change frequently. Adjustment become necessary as the organizations involved, for example, when change to decision-making processes, timing, scope, and speed are made. One point three point three focus on the most impactful risk. Successful organizations are available to effectively and efficiently identify the risk that I directly influence goal and objective. The challenge of most organizations is making the best use of resources by focusing to the right risk. This depends on the characteristic of the organization, its environment, internal maturity, culture, and strategy. Determining the most impactful risk can be difficult. Organization develop and improve by refining the processes of risk prioritization. 1.3.4 Balance Realizations of Value Against Overall Risk Risk management seeks to find the proper balance between the exposure to risk and the expected business value creations or realization. Initiative presenting a low level of risk may not create to sufficient level of value and performance. On other hand, initiative presenting a high expected performance may expose the organization to an acceptable level of threat. 1.3.5 Poster a culture that embraces risk management. Risk management is an inherent and essential part of portfolio program and project management frameworks. The practice of risk management is propagated, recognized, and encouraged throughout the organization. A culture of risk management encourages the, the identifications of threat rather than ignoring them and the, the identifications of opportunities by cultivating a positive mindset within the organization. One that is more open to accept and hardness the positive change impacting the various initiatives. 1.3.6 Navigate complexity using risk management to enable success outcomes. Managing risk is an essential part of reducing handling and complexity within the organizational initiative. 
The ability to identify the managed risk is directly dependent on the level of complexity and initiative, concentrating effort on clarifying the objectives, requirements, and the scope of initiative facilitates the identifications of risk and enhance the ability to manage them, thus lowering the exposures of this initiative to unforeseen situation. The, the more organizations navigate complexity using risk management, the more they will be able to optimize the use of resource, increase and return on investment and improve overall performance and business result. 1.3.7 Continuously Improve Risk Management Competencies The nature of risk to which the organization is exposed and the available technology to manage those risks are changing. Technology allows organization to manage risk more effectively and the better focus on the risk impact. Throughout continuous improvement of the risk management competencies, organizations and individuals can develop, sustain, uh, throughout continuous improvements of project management competencies, organizations and individuals can develop sustainable competitive advantage and contribute to overall organizational performance. 1.4 structure of this standard. This standard can be used to review portfolio, program, and project management processes from risk management perspective. It is organized as follow. Section 1, Introduction. Section 2, Context and Key Concept of Risk Management. Section 3, Framework of Risk Management in Portfolio Program and Project Management. Section 4, Risk Management Life Cycle in Portfolio Program and Project Management. Section 5, Risk Management in the Context of Portfolio Management. Risk Management. Section 6, Risk Management in the Context of Program Management. Section 7, Risk Management in the Context of the Project Management. Appendix X1, Develop of the Standard for Risk Management in Portfolios, Program, and Project. Appendix X2, Contributor and Reviewer of the Standard Risk Management in Portfolios, Program, and Projects. Appendix X3, Portfolio Risk Management Control. Appendix X4, Portfolio Risk Management Program, Risk Management Control. Appendix X5, Project Risk Management Control. Appendix X6, Technique for Risk Management Frameworks. Appendix X7, Enterprise Risk Management Considerations for Portfolio, Program, and Project Risk Management. Appendix X8, Risk Classification. Chapter 2, Context and Key Concept of Risk Management. Risk is inherently present in our organization. Risk present organization with challenge but may also offer the competitive advantage when both threat and opportunities are managed proactively. Risk management provides a comprehensive and integrated frameworks for addressing and managing risk at all levels of the organization from portfolios through program, project, and operation. 2.1 Key Concept and Definition All organizations face the uncertainty of both internal and external events and certain present and future challenges can be dealt with the formulating and applying the sound base strategy towards realizing a set of objectives and managing risk. Risk management provides insight into risk that need to be addressed in support of reaching those objectives and take advantage of opportunities when opportunities occur. They are called benefits. 2.1.1 Risk Individual risk is an uncertain event or condition that, if it is occur, has a positive or negative effect in one or more objectives. Overall risk is the effect of uncertain that affect organizational objectives at different level or aspects. Risk arise from all sources of uncertain, including individual risk in the portfolio program and project domain. This risk represents the exposures of the organizations and its stakeholder to the consequence of uncertainty on the realizations of organization strategy and business objectives. Once the risk occurs, it is then managed within the various governance layers 
enterprise, portfolio program, and project by driving the resulting outcome. Uncertainty is inherent in the natures of portfolios, program, and projects. Risk arise out of uncertainty and generates uncertainty. The more risk one can identify, the more uncertainty is indicated. One of the key factors that determines the ability to identify risk is ambiguity. When ambiguity is low, the level of information available is high, which allows the identifications of risk, uncertainty, and ambiguity are factors where assessment are open. Evaluation drive risk management effort. Assessment and often evaluations allow for the determinations of the proper risk management strategy and define how risk will be managed throughout the portfolio, program, and project management life cycles. The iterations of these life cycles and their interaction. Point one, point two, opportunities. Opportunities are risks that have been positive effect in, on one or more objectives. Opportunity management helps to identify and understand positive way in which objectives can be achieved more successful. Moving beyond the traditional view of risk as a value destroyer to seeing risk as a potential value enhancer requires creativity and visions and a system that allows these opportunities to flourish and lead the organizational success. A consistent portfolio program and project management system helps to identify and assess opportunities that are often linked and improve the organization's ability to accept the pursue opportunities. 2.1.3 Threat Threat are risk that would have negative effect on one or more objectives, threat management involves the use of risk management resources to describe risk, to analyze risk attribute, to evaluate the probability of risk occurrence and impact as well as other characteristics, and to implement a plan response when appropriate. Similar to managing opportunities, managing threat is a stage process. Both use a structured life cycle frameworks to ensure that the process is robust and complete as described on section 4. Should threat occur, they are called issue and are listed on the issue log. 2.1.4 Risk Attitude Risk attitude is a dis disposition towards uncertainty adapted explicitly or Im implicitly by individual and groups, driven by perceptions and evidence by observable <coughs> behavior. Risk attitude represents an organization approach to assess and eventually pursue, retain, take, or turn away from risk. <coughs> risk attitude can range from risk aware to risk seeking. Organizations seek to establish a consistent method for evaluating and responding to risk across the enterprise. One obstacle to developing the consistency is an individual different or consistent attitude towards risk and those attitudes may vary according to the circumstance. In summary, risk attitude is an individual or group preference to evaluate a risk situation in a favorable or unfavorable way and to act accordingly. However, risk attitude are not necessarily stable nor homogeneous. 2.1.5 Risk Appetite Risk appetite is the degree of uncertainty an organization or individual is willing to accept in anticipation of the reward. Risk appetite guides and management of risk and, of, and parameters an organization used to dedicating whether or not to take on risk. In addition, risk appetite defines what types of risk an organization pursues. 
A risk appetite. Determination represents the starts of embracing risk in figure 2 does 1. Show the interrelations of risk appetite and its direct influence on business strategy. The risk management frameworks and the underlying policy and processes. The resulting risk appetite. Determinations define the amount and type of risk that the organization is willing to take in order to meet its strategic objective. Risk appetite is strategy and business value drive risk management framework, risk management policy. So risk appetite and its relationship with organization strategy in figure 2.1. Risk appetite express the level of risk the organization is willing to take in pursuit of its portfolio, program, and project objectives. Portfolio program and project risk is not a singular but rather a multi multifaceted concept. And as organizations grow, expand, and evolve, so do you, so do the risk they face, the type prominence and appetite for risk change at different points in the life cycle of an organization and during the life cycle of its program and project. 2.1.6 Risk Threshold Risk Threshold is the same as acceptance variation around an objective that reflect the risk appetite of the organization and its stakeholder. A key element of risk strategy is to establish establishment and monitoring of enterprise portfolio program and project risk threshold. Example of risk threshold includes minimum level of risk exposure for a risk to be included in the risk register. Qualitative or quantitative definitions of risk rating and maximum level of risk exposure that can be managed before an escalation is triggered. Establishing risk threshold is an integral step in linking portfolio program and project risk management to a strategy alignment and is performed as part of early planning based on the risk appetite of the organization gateway may also be responsible for ensuring that risk threshold are established and observed and when the risk should be escalated to the higher governance level. 2.2 Risk Management in Organization The organization governance body is ultimately responsible for setting, confirming, and enforcing risk appetite and risk management principles as part of its governance, oversight, and organization governance also determines which risk management processes are appropriate in terms of organizational strategy, scope, context, and content. The enterprise risk program often resides in the executive management organization due to direct relationship between the success of achieving organizational strategic goal and employing an effective risk management processes. When accessing the seriousness of the risk combinations of risk uncertainty and the effect of endeavor or objective are considered. The uncertainty dimension is commonly described as Probability and the effect is often referred to as impact. The definitions of risk includes both a distinct event that are uncertain but can be clearly described and b more general condition that are less specific but may also give rise to uncertainty. The definitions of risk also encompasses uncertain event that could have a negative or positive effect on objectives. Both these uncertain situations are considered to be a risk when they could have an in adverse or positive effect on the achievements of objectives. It is essential to address both situations within the enterprise portfolio, program, and project risk management process, addressing threat and opportunities together, example addressing both in the same analysis and coordinating the response to both when they overlap, allow for synergies and efficiencies. It is important to distinguish risk from risk-related feature caused from even circumstances that currently exist or are certain to exist in the future. 
which might give rest to risk, give rise to risk. Effect are conditional feature event or conditions that directly affect one or more objectives if the associated risk occur. A risk may have one or more cause, and if it is occur, may have one or more effect. When a risk event occur, the risk cease to be uncertain. Threat that occurs are term issue, and opportunities that occur are benefits to the enterprise. Portfolio, program, and project managers are responsible to resolve this issue and manage them efficiently and effectively. Issues may entail action that are outside of the scope of the portfolio program and project risk management process. Therefore, these issues are escalated to the higher management level according to the organization governance policy. 2.3 Domain of Risk Management Risk management is an integral framework that is span organizational level aside from simply predicting what could happen. The aim of risk management is to develop the means to support the achievements of organizational objectives, realizations of the strategic visions and creations of value. Risk management is strongly influenced decision making at the enterprise portfolio, program, and project levels. At the enterprise level, the entire organization strategy is the set of strategic and business management action from countering business threat and exploiting business opportunities. These decisions and action are often executed within the portfolio as parts of its individual components, program, project, and operation. The various conceptions and perspectives regarding risk management in its portfolio, program, and project management domain feed onto one another in an iterative, interactive, and dynamic manner. Risk may be interconnected, have dependencies, and interact via feedback loop. Details of these interactions are provided in Section 5, 6, and 7. Strategy, identify business risk, threat, and opportunity. Translate risk management strategy into action. Portfolio, translate strategic objectives into organizational value and capabilities. Programs, define tangible benefits and capability trigger. Project, escalate to higher level when necessary. Cascading risk management strategy. In return, consolidating risk profit and risk management efficiently and effectively so that is the result so this is the figure 2 does to cascading of risk management strategy into portfolios program and project 2.3.1 enterprise the enterprise purpose of risk management is the creations of the protected of, the, of value ERM ERM is an approach for identifying major risk and confront an organizations and forecasting that the significance of those risks to business processes. The way in which risks are managed reflect the organization's culture, capability, and strategy to create and sustain value. ARM address risk at the organizational level, including the aggregations of all risks associated with the enterprise, portfolio, or program, and project. When exploring alternative strategy, ARM enables the alignment of its portfolio program and project components. With the organizational strategy, ARM establishes the connection between the various governance level for the bottom-up escalations of identified risk and the bottom-down definitions of risk management strategy. The top-down process triggers the creations of program projects and other activities aimed to exploiting specific opportunities and addressing business threat. ARM provides a systematic, organized, and structured method for, for identifying and assessing all risk and organization phases, for developing suitable responses, for communicating status with stakeholders, and for assigning responsibility to monitor and manage risk 
in align with the strategic objectives of the organization. ARM is an ongoing process that supports to plan, do, check, act sequence for continuous improvement. ARM is not limited to compliance and disclose requirements, nor is ARM a replacement for internal control and audit. The applications of ARM varies depending on the organization and could vary from year to end based on overall risk, appetite, stakeholder expectations, and requirements, and the internal and external environment. There is no size-fits-all approach to performing ARM. The ARM function structures and activities vary with each organization. ARM is responsible for ensuring that all organizational risks are addressed and properly managed and monitored. Risk management in the enterprise management context of integrated portfolio program and project management consists of elaborating the risk governance framework identifying operational and context contextual risk of each level of the integrated governance framework including both negative risk or threat and the positive risk its opportunity analyzing and identifying risk for both the qualitative and quantitative perspectives and identifying the governance layer best suit to manage them accordingly to the escalation rules in place with the portfolio program and project management frameworks. Defining an appropriate risk management strategy based on the increasingly the probability and or impact of positive risk opportunities and decreasing the probability and or impact negative risk a threat. Identifying the risk owner and assigning the risk Implementing the corresponding strategies and activities related to anticipative and or respective action. Monitoring and effectiveness and efficiency of the risk management strategy deploying within the enterprise portfolio program and project management frameworks. Ensuring alignment between portfolio program and project management risk governance model of and the ERM strategy and promoting effective risk management within the entire enterprise through the risk management culture. 2.3.2 Portfolio Portfolio risk management categorizes risk as structural components and overall risk. Structural risk are risk associated with the compositions of a group of the project and the potential interdependencies among components. Components risk and the portfolio level are risk that are components manager escalated to the portfolio level for the information or action. Overall portfolio risk considered and interdependencies within components and is therefore more than just the sum of individual components risk. Risk B efficiency is a key element of managing risk at the portfolio level. Efficiency is achieved through adjusting the mix portfolio components to balance a risk and reward such as the overall portfolio risk exposure is managed. Planning, designing, and implementing an effective portfolio risk management system depends on organizational culture. Planning, designing, and implementing an effective portfolio risk management system depends on organizational culture, top management commitment, stakeholder engagement, and open and fair communication processes. Portfolio risk management is important for the, for the success of managing portfolios where the value lost due to components, failure is significant, or when the risk of one component's impact the risk in another component. As defined in the standard, the portfolio management, portfolio risk management ensure that components achieve the best possible success based on the organizational strategy and business model. Portfolio risk management can be viewed as the management activities related to adapting the mix of portfolio components to the evolution of the organization's business 
environment similar to enterprise strategy. The result of portfolio risk management strategy is defining and launching new components or closing other ones. Portfolio components can be response to identified threat or opportunities in alignment with the organization's overall business strategy. 2.3.3 Program Program Risk Management Strategy ensures effective management of an risk of any risk that can cause misalignment between the program roadmap and its supported objectives to organizational strategy. It includes defining program risk threshold, performing the initial program risk assessment, and developing a program risk response strategy. Program risk management determines how risk are to be communicated to the governance layer and the strategic level of the organization. This level of strategic alignment requires that program risk threshold take into account the organizational strategy and risk attitude. Program risk go beyond the sum of the risk from each project within the program. Program risk management applies the concept of portfolio risk management to the set of program components. The standard for program management describe program risk management strategy as identifying program risk threshold, performing an initial program risk assessment, developing a high-level program risk response strategy, and determining how risk are to be communicated and managed as part of governance. Program risk management aggregates operational risk for components, project, and activities, and handle the specific risk at the program level, which is dependent on the layer of accountability defined in the portfolio, program, and project governance models. Also, the perspective of risk at the program level is more focused on the immediate impact of risk than on expected benefits. 2.3.4 Project Project Risk Management is a knowledge area on the project management that identifies and manages project risk that could impact cost schedule or scope baseline. A guide to the project management body of knowledge PM book guide describes project management as the process of conducting risk management planning. Identification, Analysis, Response Planning, Response Implementation, and Monitor Risk on the Project. The objectives of the project risk management are to increase the probability and or impact of opportunities and to decrease the probability and or impact of threat in order to optimize the chance of project success. The PM book guide states that when unmanaged, this risk have a potential to the cost of project deviate from the plan and fail to achieve the defined project objectives. Consist, consequently, project success is directly related to the effectiveness of the project risk management. Project risk management supports success objectives by adapting or implementing the course of action and project activities to take advantage of emerging change in the project environment. Thus, the project baseline example, scope, schedule, and cost are risk informed. All risk undergo quantitative analysis and some risk undergo quantitative analysis, qualitative and quantitative. When the risk impact and baseline and or when analysis of the combined effect of multiple risk is required. Key success factor. 2.4 key success factor. Enterprise, which includes organizational project management, OPM, portfolio program, and project risk management, is conducted in the manner consistent with the practice and policies. In addition, portfolio program and project risk management is conducted in the way that is appropriate to the characteristic 
of the endeavor. The specific criteria for the success of its risk management process are listed in the section dealing with those processes. This key success factor for risk management enables the realizations of the principles discussed on section 1.3 and are illustrated in figure 2-3. Risk management success in figure 2-3 key success factor of risk management. Recognizing the value of risk management, individual commitment, responsibility, open and honest communication, organizational commitment, tailoring risk effort, integrations with organizational project management OPM. The key success factor includes recognizing the value of risk management, portfolio program and project risk management, is recognized by organizational management stakeholder and team member as a valuable discipline that provides a positive return on investment. Individual commitment responsibility. Portfolio program and project participants and stakeholder accept responsibility to undertaking risk-related activities as required. Risk management is everyone's responsibility open and honest communication everyone is involved in the risk management process in action or attitude that hinder communication about risk reduce and effectiveness of risk management regarding proactive approach and effective decision making organizational commitment organizational commitment is established only when risk management is aligned with the organization's goal, value, and ARM policies. Risk management action may require the approval of a response from other that level above the portfolio program or project manager. Tailoring risk effort. Tailoring risk effort is a risk management activities are consistent with the value of the endeavor to the organization and with its level of risk, skill, and other organizational constraint. Integration with organizational project management is a risk management does not exist in the vacuum isolated from other organizational project management processes. Successful risk management requires the appropriate executions of the organizational project management and they are in processes including the allocations of resources necessary for the effective applications of risk management. Chapter 3, Framework for Risk Management in Portfolio, Program, and Project Management. Risks are represented in every organization activity, especially across endeavor, such as portfolios, program, and, or, and project. Organizational inertia is inherently risky because product and service becomes stale over time and organization may lose their competitiveness due to social, societal, societal and technological change. Rest can be difficult to manage because a single rest can have a different impact on various components and portfolios and program and across the various level of organization. Organizations and professional need to balance threat and opportunities and the dilemmas of inactions versus action. This section addresses this dilemma, dilemma by providing a framework for risk management across the enterprise and its portfolio program and project management activities. 3.1 Business Context for Risk Management in Portfolio program and project management. All organization encounter internal and external factors that influence the ability to achieve desired objectives. Achieving those objectives is rarely ensured or organization activities involve risk even in action. An organization managers manages risk through people, processes, technology, and information portfolio, program, and project managers 
are responsible for risk associated with their endeavors. These managers are responsible for working with the stakeholders at various levels of the organization and apply systematic integrated approach to risk management. Figure 3 does 1 represent the context of organizational activity from the abstract or the top of an organization to the specific or bottom where discrete tasks are completed. Risk permits throughout the pyramid. The organizational strategy set the direction through the versions and vision and missions and a strategy defines specific goals and objectives for the organizations. This is all encompassed and includes operational and change activities. Triangle Press across the various level of the organization. Context of organizational activity, management risk, vision, from the top vision, mission, organizational strategy, and objectives. Portfolio management is strategic planning and management of program of project and operation, management of ongoing operation, recurring activities, producing value, management of authorized program and project, projectized activities, increasing value productions capability, organizational resources, so this is the pyramid, with one, two, three, four, five, five level. Goals and objectives are aligned with strategies. The attainment of business benefits and value requires the executions of operational and change plan. Organizations realize the benefits of change by executing plans and their associated activities which result in the successful attainment of the portfolio program and project objectives. Change by its value nature can be uncertain. For most organizations, change is inevitable and is necessary to maintain and sustain competitiveness. To manage change successfully, organizations require a robust well throughout strategic execution plan to implement portfolios, program, and project in a consistent manner over time. This requires the adoptions of an effective organizational project management OPM implementation. OPM is a framework in which a portfolio, program, and project management are aligned with the strategy and integrated with organizational enables in order to achieve strategic objectives. Portfolio program and project management target business objectives that supports the organizational strategy. Some threat arise when the strategy or business objectives are not aligned with the organization's mission, vision, and core values. Additional threat arise when business objectives do not support a strategy or when endeavor such as portfolios, program, and projects are not aligned with the business objectives. Opportunities could be enhanced when a strategy and business objectives are well aligned. point. Opportunities could be enhanced when the strategy and business objectives are well aligned. 3.1.1 Organizational Frameworks As shown in Figure 3-2, risk management includes all domain of the organization's enterprise, portfolio, program, and project. ERM, Enterprise Risk Management, is an approach to managing risk that reflect the organization's culture, 
capability and strategy to create and sustain value. It covers the policies, processes, and method by which organizations manage risk, both threat and opportunity to advance the mission and visions of the organizations. Portfolio risk management derives its policies, processes, method, and tolerance from the ERM frameworks and tailors it for the management of portfolios. Similarly, program and project adapt their respective risk management practices from the portfolio frameworks. Risk management composed of enterprise management, portfolio management, program management, project management, and operation. That's an operation risk. Figure 3 does the risk management across the domain of organizational strategy. The governance board typically oversee ERM in that it stairs the process with significant and proactive management, engagement, and portfolio program. And project managers manage and monitor communication with internal and external stakeholders, which is required to install to to instill the importance and values of risk management, expected culture and behavior, the risk attitude. Three point one point two. Organizational context. The applications of ERM is influenced by industry regulations and organizational context by understanding the context in which the organization exists. Portfolio program and project managers can tailor the optimal approach to risk management for their endeavor and simultaneously assist the organizations in assessing and responding to risk. Many factors can also impact the extent of risk management practices. Some of these factors include capital, availability, competitive landscape, and risk attitude. 3.1.3 is strategic and organizational planning. Risk management in portfolios, program, and project align with the setting of strategic vision, mission, goals, value, and business objectives. It provides the input for pursuing different alternatives. Strategic goal and business objectives are developed to realize the organization's vision and mission in line with the core values. Once this goal and objective are set, they become input for risk management. If there are potential conflict between a strategic goal and the portfolio of work, then the risk is escalated. To the proper level of management, say figure 3.1. point 3.1.4 Linking planning with execution through the portfolio, program, and project management. Portfolio, program, and project management refers to domain in the organizational project management. OPM frameworks for managing capabilities and enhancing existing value or creating new value portfolio management serves as a bridge that connects strategy planning with business executed by focusing on selecting the right portfolios, components, example, program, project, and operational initiative. Portfolio management enables organization to achieve alignment with strategy and to invest their resources wisely and effectively. Program and project management are irresponsible for the implementation. These activities are performed within the environment that is full of risk, while OPM enables an organization to leverage its result and implementation success and support a healthy organization within a competitive and rapidly changing environment. It is not risk-free 
Therefore, it is essential for organizational leader and managers to recognize the importance and managing risk to tackle threat and enable opportunity. Portfolio program and project managers work inclusively to a, identify, analyze, evaluate, prioritize, recommend, plan, and implement risk responses. B. Monitor progresses. And C. Adjust risk response as appropriate. Scope of accountability, responsibility, and authority. 3.2. Scope of accountability, responsibility, and authority. The accountability, responsibility, and authority of risk management are shared by stakeholders involved in portfolio, program, and project management. Accountability is individual by nature. and derived from the position held in the organization. Accountability is relative to authority in that one is usually held accountable within one. One is still may be held accountable beyond one authority to act. Responsibility resides in an individual by assigning of a function or task. By accepting the assignment, an individual takes on the associated responsibility. The fact that other higher in the organizations may also be held responsible or accountable does not diminish the responsibility held by the individual. The assigning individual is still is held accountable for the delegate task, but responsibility is passed to the assigned individual. Authority, like responsibility, may be managed, may be delegated, and give an individual the ability to make decision within a defined bound. 3.2.1 Accountability in the Enterprise Level The objectives of risk management is to apply knowledge skills and good practice to manage the area of focus within the rest threshold that is acceptable to the organization whether at the enterprise portfolio program or project level the purpose of is to minimize the impact of threat to protect the organization from loss and to embrace opportunities that translate to value the management of risk across the call of the continuum the continuum of portfolios program and project requires collaboration throughout the enterprise and the recognitions that failure to allocate the appropriate amount of resources could jeopardize the organization's strategy objectives portfolio program and project management are responsible for supporting management policies, defining rules and responsibilities, setting targets, and overseeing implementation. The managers of the work are responsible for keeping senior management apprised of ongoing risk exposure and corresponding action. 3.2.2 Accountability at the portfolio level in some cases, portfolios may exist for a brief period. However, portfolio often exist for as long as the organization itself exists. As a result, portfolio managers may oversee activity or authorize component that may take several years for the organization to realize the value of the investment. Any change in this landscape has direct implications on the 
organization strategy objectives. A specific external factor can include regulatory requirements or mandates, markets, condition, and organizational restructuring. Portfolio risk management tackles strategy, execution, and structural risk, whereas program risk management evaluates the risk across a relative sets of components. Portfolio risk management is broad and consider risk that could impact unrelated components and operational activities within the portfolio. As a result, portfolio managers address several challenges when managing risk because portfolio level risk encompass both external and internal factors by breeding the organizational strategy to implementation. 3.2.3 Accountability at the program level. The program level, the risk that are evaluated span the related components and if triggered could could have a positive or negative impact in one or more other components working with the components manager. It is the responsibility of the program manager to identify and manage this risk rather than manage this risk individually within the components. Program managers ensure that program risk are managed through coordination. When managing strategic risk, program manager may identify new risk that exceed the organization's risk appetite and could directly impact the program. A strategic risk present both threat and an opportunity. The program managers evaluates and review a set of response options for considerations with the governance body. Within the program, risk can affect the delivery of specific components. The program managers adverse advise these components managers of any shared risk and response plan that relates to individual components. This may be economies of skill and scope in that shared risk may be managed by initiating one risk response at the program level. 3.2.4 Accountability at the project level. At the project level, the, the objective of risk management is to decrease the probability and impact of negative risk and increase the probability of impact of positive risk specific to project deliverables or objectives. Project managers are accountable for evaluating, reporting, and managing both individuals and overall project risk within the constraint of the project. This may escalate certain risk or receive guidance from source such as the program manager, portfolio manager, project management office, governance board, and other leadership in titles depending on the complexity of the initiative and organizational input. All project team members have the responsibility for managing risk, for example, the identification of risk during initiation, clarification, and the trigger event, or awareness of potential new risk that could affect the endeavor. General approach to risk management as risk are perceived throughout portfolio program and project management activities, a systematic approach for managing risk is essential for the organization to achieve its strategic objectives. In this context of risk management, consideration includes but not limited to the following a event or circumstance that occur in the future, their variability and ambiguity event that could have a positive or negative impact on one or more objectives of the enterprise portfolio program or project. Probability of the event occurring, impact of the event should it occur and ability of the organization to influence favorable outcomes or minimizing negative consequences. <clears throat> 3.3.1 Factor for Evaluating Risk Across the Continuum 
of enterprise portfolio program and project risk management rest exist at all level of the organization figure 3 industry provides a framework for classifying rest in one or four quadrant based on the available information and the degree of ambiguity and variability see appendix x it on risk classifications for additional information Figure 3, industry risk classification. Unknown, known, hidden fact. Knowledge exists in the community but not with the entity working on the endeavor. Unknown, unknown, emergent risk. Knowledge does not exist within the sphere of influence. Known, known, fact and requirements managed as parts of scope, not a risk. Known, unknown, classic risk. There is a knowledge to identify probability and impact. In order for risk management to take place, portfolio, program, and project managers need to identify the risk, probability, and impact. Probability. The chance of a risk occurring can range from slightly above 0% to just below 100%. Impact risk should they occur can have either a positive or negative consequence for the organization. The magnitude or significance of the impact may have varying implications and influence. These are additional factors to consider when evaluating risk. Some are included in Appendix XX on technique for the risk management frameworks. Chapter 4, Risk Management Life Cycle in Portfolio, Program, and project management. Organization build adaptive frameworks to ensure alignment with environmental competitiveness and comfort, increase complexity associated with the goal attainment and decision making complexity is an inherent characteristic of portfolios, program and project and their environment which is difficult to manage due to the various aspects involved in the workflow human behavior, system behavior, uncertainty, and ambiguity, complexity impact, stability, predictability, and capacity of both the organizations and its activities to sustain its business. For additional information, refer to navigating complexity. An integrated view of risk management is required to define the right construct in the organization governance and operations by establishing the appropriate frameworks an organization is able to articulate objectives define external and internal parameters for processing an effective risk management life cycle and establish risk criteria within the scope of the remaining processes through the iterative activities the purpose of Establishing a framework is to align resources and processes to the organization's strategy and objectives. The risk management life cycle works within the risk management frameworks, ensure risks are managed and structured manner regardless of the portfolio, program, or project life cycle approach. 4.1 Introductions of the Risk Management Life Cycle. The risk management life cycle described in the section illustrates a structured approach for undertaking a comprehensive view of a risk throughout the enterprise portfolio, program, and project domain. Even though the way of managing risk differs between this domain and from one organization to another, an overall life cycle approach outlines a sequence of logical pieces that can be iterated and include the following processes. Plan risk management, identify risk, perform qualitative risk analysis, perform quantitative risk analysis, plan risk responses, implement risk responses, and monitor risk. The risk management life cycle is shown in figure 4-1. It has dedicated 
procedural and iterative workflow of activities and processes supported and performed across the enterprise and within the portfolio program and project domain because of the evolutionary natures of risk the risk management life cycle ensures a repeatable workflow of processes that supports strategic decision making all these activities are performed in an integrated way within the across the portfolio program and project domain the iterative workflow of the risk management life cycle is enabled within a strategic execution frameworks where a por portfolio program and project management are linked to organizational culture foundation capabilities and the use of the organizational functions or performance domain it is understood that once a portfolio program or project is closed the risk management processes terminates and the appropriate lesson learned are documented the frameworks enables the overall risk processes to be implemented through the risk management plan within each domain as described in section 5 6 and 7 in figure 4 that's one the risk management life cycle frameworks so from the beginning at the top plan risk management second identified risk response third perform qualitative risk analysis fourth perform quantitative risk analysis fifth plan risk response sixth implement risk response and seven monitor risk 4.2 plan risk management Effective risk management requires the creations of the risk management plan. This plan describes how the risk management processes are to be carried out and how they fit in which other processes. On a broader level, the risk management plan describes the relationship among the risk management processes, general portfolio program or project management, and the management processes in the rest of the organization. Initial risk management planning is carried out early in the overall planning of the work and the correspondence activity are integrated into overall management plan. The risk management plan may need to be adapted as the need of the work and the stakeholder become clearer or change. The feasibility of risk management planning is dependent upon the feature of the organization in which it is carried out. The rules and guidelines define in the risk management plan effect A. The culture of organization B. Its capabilities regarding people and facilities and C. Its values, goals, and objectives The risk management plan identifies the described relevant organizational procedure and other enterprise environmental factors that apply such as a strategic risk management enterprise risk management ERM and corporate governance processes 4.2.1 purpose of plan risk response plan risk management the purpose of plan risk management the objective of the plan risk management process are to develop the overall risk management strategy decide how the risk management processes will be executed and integrated risk management with all other activities the risk management plan defines both the normal frequency and repeating the processes in addition to a specific or exceptional condition under which corresponding actions are initiated the corresponding risk management activities are integrated into the portfolio program or project management plan 4.2.1.1 Risk Appetite in Plan Risk Management The risk, the level of risk that is considered acceptan, acceptable depends on risk appetite of the relevant stakeholder. The risk appetite of the stakeholder may be influenced by the number of factor. This factor includes the stakeholder abil ability to tolerate uncertainty and the relative importance achieving specific objectives. The, out, the output of this analysis is then considered when applying the risk management process. 
guidelines and rules of escalating risk related information to management and other stakeholders reflect the stakeholder risk appetite and expectation as the work involves maintaining effective communication with the stakeholder in a bulls portfolio program and project managers to become aware of any change in the stakeholders attitude and adapt the risk management approach to take into account in any factor the risk management plan provides terminology used to describe risk which allows participants to share a common understanding of the term the risk management plan also defines the critical value of risk management and the threshold that serves a parameter in a manner consistent of the scope of the work and the attitude of the stakeholder similarly the risk management plan specifies the key numerical value required in quantitative analysis for a decision making in risk response planning or risk monitoring 4.2.1.2 tailoring and scaling the risk management plan portfolios program and project are exposed to different types of risk so each step in risk management life cycle is tailored and is scaled to meet the various risk characteristics. The management processes are also tightly integrated between the portfolio program and project domain. The result from this initial step are documented in communication and document and communicated and subsequently reviewed by the stakeholder. To ensure a common understanding of the scope and objectives for the risk management process the risk management plan includes untailored risk management processes which are based on the process maturity of the organization scalable elements of the process that are a part of risk management planning include but are not limited to available resources escalation path methodology and process use, tools and technique use, supporting infrastructure, review and update frequency, and reporting requirements. 4.2.2 Success Factor for a Plan Risk Management The criteria for a valid risk management plan includes acceptance by the stakeholder, identifications of bias and correcting for it, Alignment with the internal and external constraints and priorities, balance between cost and effort and benefits, and completeness with respect to the need of the risk management processes. 4.3. Identify risk. Once the risk management scope and objectives are agreed, the process of identifying risk begins with care taken to de distinguish genuine risk from non-risk, non such as concern and issues. It is unlikely that all risks are or even can be identified at the outset over time. The level of risk exposure may change as a result of the decision and action taken previously and of externally imposed changes. 4.3.1 Purpose of Identify Risk The purpose of the identify risk identification is to identify risk to be extent practicable. The emergent natures of risk requires the risk management process to be iterative, repeating the risk identification activities in order to find risk that were not previously evident variety of risk identification technique is available each with its own strength and weaknesses see appendix xx of technique of the risk management frameworks one or more techniques are selected as appropriate from meeting the needs of a specific portfolio programs or project the aim of uh, the aim is to expose and document all knowable risk recognizing and some risks are inherently unknowable and other emerge later of work. Input is sought from the wide range of stakeholders when identifying risks since each stakeholder may have different perspective on the risk facing the portfolio program or project historical records and documents may also be reviewed to help identify risk. When a risk 
is first identified, preliminarily response may be identified at the same time these are recorded during the identify risk risk processes and are considered for immediate action when such action is appropriate when such response are not implemented immediately they should be considered during the plan risk response pro processes all identified risks are recorded and a risk owner may be identified at the same time the risk owner is the individual responsible for monitoring the risk and for selecting the implementing of the appropriate risk response strategy. It is the responsibility of the risk owner to manage and responding risk throughout the subsequent risk management processes. 4.3.2 Key Success Factor for Identifying Risk Success in achieving the objectives of identifying risk includes but not limited to early identification, iterative identification, emergent identification, comprehensive identification, explicit identifications of opportunities, multiple perspective, risk length to objectives, complete risk statement, ownership and level of details, frequent and effective communication, and objective D, to minimize bias. Pair 4, 4.4, pair 4, qualitative risk analysis. Qualitative risk analysis evaluates the importance of each risk in order to categorize the prioritized individual risk for rather further attention. It also provides a mechanical for evaluating the level of overall portfolio program or project risk. 4.4.1 Purpose of Perform Qualitative Risk Analysis. Qualitative techniques are used to gain a better understanding of individual risk. Qualitative techniques consider a range of characteristics such as a probability or likelihood of occurrence, degree of impact on the objectives, manageable timing of possible impact relationship with other risk and common cause or effect, accessing individual risk using qualitative risk analysis evaluates the probability and each risk, if it is occur, would have on the portfolio program or project objectives. As such, the assessment does not directly address the overall risk that result from the combined effect of all risk and their potential interactions with each other. This can, however, be achieved through the use of quantitative risk analysis technique. Qualita qualitative risk analysis is applied to the list of risks created or updated by the identifying risk processes to provide management with the characteristic of the risk that have the most influence positive or negative on achieving the objectives risk that are assessed on high priority, which either threaten or enhance the achievements of objectives or highlight in the plan risk response processes. This risk may be further analyzed using quantitative risk analysis. 4.4.2 Key Success Factor for Perform Qualitative Risk Analysis Success in Achieving the Objectives of the performed qualitative risk analysis process includes but not limited to use agreed approach, use agree definitions of risk term, collect credible information about risk, and perform iterative qualitative risk analysis. 4.5 Perform quantitative risk analysis. The perform quantitative risk analysis process involves the insight into the combined effect of identified risk on the desired outcome. This process takes into account probabilistic or components-wide effects such as correlation between risk interdependency and feedback loops. It provides an indications of the degree of overall risk faced uh, by portfolio program or project. 4.5.1 Purpose of Quantitative Risk Analysis the performance quantitative risk analysis process provides a numerical estimates 
of the overall effect of the risk on the objectives result from his analysis are used to evaluate like the likelihood of success in achieving objectives and to estimate any contingency reserve. Analyzing uncertainty using quantitative technique provides a more realistic estimate than a non-probabilistic approach. However, quantitative risk analysis is not always required or possible. Therefore, during the plan risk management process and benefits of quantitative risk analysis should be weighed against the effort required to ensure that the additional insight and value justifying the additional effort. However, a partial risk analysis, such as quant qualitative risk analysis, prioritize only individual risk and therefore does not produce measure of overall risk where all risks are considered sim simultaneously. Calculating estimates of overall risk is the focus of perform quantitative risk analysis process. A specific risks are usually best understood and quantified at the detailed level by contrast objectives are specified at the higher level. An overall risk analysis such as one that use quantitative technique estimate the implications of all quantitative risk. Those quantitative risk analysis and subsequent assessment of risk are enhanced by the comprehensive understanding of the individual risk and their relative importance with respect to objectives. The overall risk may determine the priority and should be placed on the particular individual risk. Estimating overall risk using quantitative method helps to distinguish the quantitative risk that threaten objectives by beyond the tolerance of the stakeholder from those risks that are with acceptable tolerance even when the risk is considered the risk that threatened objectives beyond the stakeholder tolerance may be targeted for vigorous risk responsive aim to protecting the objectives that are most important to the stakeholder. 4.5.2 Key Success Factor for fair form quantitative risk analysis Success in achieving the objectives of quantitative risk analysis includes but not limited to prior risk identification and quantitative risk analysis appropriate model, competence with the corresponding technical analysis tools, commitment to the collecting credible risk data, <coughs> unbiased data, and interrelationship between risk and quantitative risk analysis. So this is the risk management of the PMI, page 1 to 52, until... Paragraph 4.5.2 Key Success Factors for Perform Quantitative Risk Analysis. For the next pages of recording, we will proceed to Paragraph 4.6 Plan Risk Responses. The Standard of Risk Management in Portfolios, Programs, and Projects. Table of Content Introduction 1.1 Purpose of this standard 1. Approach of the standard 1.3 Principles of Risk Management 1.3.1 Strive to achieve excellence in the practice of risk management 1.3.2 Align risk management with organizational strategy and government governance practice 1.3.3 Focus on the most impactful risk 1.3.4 Balance realizations and value against overall risk 1.3.5 Poster, a culture that embraces risk management. 1.3.6 